Good evening and welcome to A Death of the Duck Crusade Season 2. Tonight we are not in Edessa. We are close, but we are in Timoran. The major fortress, the major castle of the lord of this place, Madeline's well, very close friend. Um, she is here to see him. As always, she is she enjoys the trips she gets to Timoran, although they are fewer these nights, but she is, uh, she does enjoy this. She will make her way up, unless stopped, of course. You uh, head in to uh... well, it's a bit too humble to be called a fortress, but it is a major estate, uh, or or a or a, a fort combined with a, it's it's a fortified estate is effectively what it is uh, of uh, of the lands a uh, particular lord. Um. You are ushered on in. Um... Ooh, my apologies. Um, once you arrive, well, the same ghouls, same figures you've known for, well, if not if not a year now, then over a century. Hmm. Uh... Most of our schools have. Done the rounds and lasted a fair degree of time. Um, uh, once you're in, on in, you are led to the same sort of large hall where Elysium took place many months ago. Um, and there is a there's a. The prince of the town waiting for you. Madeline will curtsy very deep. My prince. I really appreciate that you take the time to see me still. I'm beginning to understand what situation you truly are in. I admire your fortitude, your steadfastness. Oh, well, I certainly hope you didn't come all this way to flatter me. Boy, I came to <sighs> discuss a couple of things. Should we take a walk together? It has been some time. Of course. I'd be glad to. Madeline will begin to walk a bit before she will speak again to say, I assume congratulations are in order. I do hope that you and Irene have formally gone through the ceremony. Yeah, so well, I trust that it will not leave uh, Of course not. Hmm. I am happy for the both of you. 
you have a strong connection. One should find such things and hold on to them. But I have been doing a bit of searching, research myself. That night at the Prince's Palace, the boy, the demon, whatever it was, it took something. Something that is not necessarily unique. Is she making a statement or asking a question? She's she's being vague. It's left to left in the air, and she just waits like a. Like a pause. She doesn't expect him to, to really answer. She just continues after a little. What I can tell, what I have seen is whatever these stones are, if they are all put together, a catastrophe will follow. In what way, I honestly do not know, and I do not think it is terribly relevant for one as me. And what I know is that it must not be done. And this is what you are trying to, event, to prevent. And that was a question. I'm trying to prevent a great many things and create a great many more. I know this. But these... Am I correct in my research? Of course, you can choose not to answer, but if it is true what I found, that you need all of them in order to create the desired effect, there may be a possibility for a better solution. I have been thinking of this. I have been giving it quite a bit of thought, honestly. That we were able to acquire one of these things. Take them from them, steal it. Honestly, I do not know what. What if one was to take it and then alone travel as fast and as far as they can? worlds from here. Bury it. Hide it somewhere, they only know. And then travel further still. And then sink into Torpor for some time. The location would not be known. The person would be very well secured, if the person knows what they're doing. And they would be barred from their price. Their price, their, what, well, a part of what they need. And with it, without it, 
I would not be able to complete it. I do not know if I am right, but if this is indeed the case. Our friendship, what you have done for me. I would be willing to do this for you. If you deem it necessary or possible or a feasible or even possible idea. But. And she, she stops and just turns to him, looks at him. I will not do this without your approval. If you think that this is even more danger, then I will not do it. You know more of this than I do. But know that I'm here to help you, if you require it. Or it takes a long pause. He considers your rather radical solution to the problem. I will... Consider this. I must admit, I'm afraid of what might happen. To the tablet or its holder, should they ever travel beyond these walls together. So there is danger by being near it? Naturally, there always has been. Mm. That I was not aware of. See, I am still a fumbling child, grasping only very little. Perhaps no. I'm not certain it will work, but I have a contingency plan. An artist in the Tessa. I have commissioned a work. And what I intend to do is create a replica of the one I saw at the ex exhibition at the Toreador domain. And I will perform certain things on it that will make it appear to the layman or at least some people to be not just a slab of rock but something different. I will perform a ritual on it that should hold for a while. Maybe it will maybe it will trick someone at least for Sometime. Maybe this is a fool's errand.
It's an idea. Perhaps it will pay off. Do we know how many there are of these plaques or tablets, stones, pillars? Initially, I believed I did. However, now I'm not so sure. Mm. But I'd still not wager more than a dozen. Still a few. I will be examining certain things with the new sheriff of Edessa. Do you have any advice? Should I come near one of them? Are there anything, any other precautions I should take other than be extremely careful? Shit, not physically. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, do not touch it, not physically. And the arms of Amara, I assume that these will not affect me if they grab it. Likely not, no. Good to know. Although you'll still feel strange being near it. Should not be to the same degree if you were to touch it. I will be vigilant, and I will be very careful. But honestly, I somehow I hope that I do not get close to one of them. Given the fact that I have seen in person just who else is looking for them. I assume you have heard of the Wishing Woman. I have heard of the news that occurred within Odessa. Uh, That's three successes. The of Odessa. Uh, what's she trying to do? Oh, it's, that's manipulation subterfuge because she's clearly lying. She she does really want to get one of those stones, and she said she just said, "I really don't want to get near one." Oh, she does. That's a clear lie. Okay. That's, I mean, Ulrich's not the best at perception empathy, so... Not like the wishing woman would have, like, cheater dice, like 16 or something. It's bullshit, okay. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. It's only for one dice, I think. <laughs> only for one particular roll. <laughs> uh, maybe two, I don't know. Um, I think it's just one. Uh... The travels in Riverside. I do not know how much you have heard, but I am guessing this is connected. A hotbed of infernalists. Riverside, I haven't heard much of Riverside. The crime Which seems to be actually untrue. So he might need to roll for that, actually. Because that is not actually true. Let me just look up our extents for this. It is extremely high, and he has a specialty. Who knows ones? Oh, Aha! God. 
Uh, well, it's not uh, ones, but man, that's a bad that's, roll. That's oh, right there. oh boy, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Madeline just nods and just says, "No, nah, okay." <laughs> Madeline just nods and says, "Well, quite crime is quite rampant, and more and more focus seems to be holding the." local populace and criminals at bay, but I would be shocked if there was not a connection. Some of them, of course, also make trouble, cause trouble in the guild halls, as far as I can understand. The infernalists are, if not everywhere, they are very well entrenched. But they are also very clever, very good at covering the tracks. Hopefully, I will have some answers. In this thing among the nobles, a social gathering, a cult of some sort. I'm not entirely certain, but I will be traveling with Gerard. And looking into this, hopefully, I will have answers. Or would you have me report to you if I find something? If you find something, please report it to me immediately. In person or by letter? I would mm -hmm. hope that... By letter, but if I do not respond, please come to me in person. Very well. The stone should be ready within a couple of weeks. Should we need it, I will keep it at my basement for the moment. It is... Only a small contingency, but it is better than nothing. The fact that you are preparing at all shows... Oh. You have put far more effort into resolving this threat than many within the region. And I will do more still. All I need are something concrete to go on. It will not be easy to find, but I will find it at some point. And then I will help you. More than just assuring you that I will <laughs> lend my assistance. It can only go for so far. I should have had some people brought to you staked, but apparently I have lacked in either luck or ability. Pardon, I didn't catch that last bit, sorry. No, she just, she's just expressing that that she doesn't think that she's done enough essentially that's that's pretty much what she's saying I will continue to prepare. I will have more of the kindred canites in the city involved, as many as I can. Unlikely allies, maybe, but there are some who are quite committed. Do 
I actually think I do kind of like our new prints. As weird as it sounds. But at the risk of sounding paranoid, getting a new prince like this. We are certain that she is not, that she is who she claims she is, yes? One I've heard of imposters playing a very, very long game and being masterful at hiding their true identities. Black Mary is very capable, I think. And with these this wishing woman, the tactician, and whoever is with them. I have seen for myself now. They are very old and capable of some very awe inspiring things. One could fear that the prince could be one of them. We can't allow ourselves to slip into solipsism. Of course not. And I will cooperate with her, work with her. She seems quite content. She was attacked by the wishing woman. I know that it is very unlikely. And she seemed genuinely upset. But we should at least have asked us these questions. Ask ourselves these questions, if nothing else, then to have answered them. So the thought is not as crazy. A wise decision. Perhaps they are masquerading as neonates. We do not know. It's perhaps more likely that they are masquerading as neonates. Mm. Yes. Yes. Ignored by most. Madeline seems genuinely concerned. She has a bit of a like defensive stance as she's just looking into the distance. She seems to be really focused on this and just trying to see if she can work out something mentally. Lorak seems fairly reserved when talking about the possibility of imposters. Kind of comes across as, we, as if he's already sort of fought over this possibility. Hmm. I am sure he has. Madeline just turns to him and just says, Consider what I will do for you. If I can avoid a, a catastrophe of the size I am fearing might come, then I will take the risk. I will sink into torpor myself.
but such things only bring worry your and my face we will start to wrinkle with all our worries tell me Irene is she I know she's is in the city mm. but does she does she sleep with you does she spend time here Yes, why? I am just curious. I talked with her. She seemed to be a virgin. I was curious. Hmm. If she does not partake, well. Hmm. Honestly, I would call it a waste. And a shame for the both of you. But, of course, if you wish privacy, I will not dig any further in this. There is another minor matter I have to discuss with you. Oh? It is not good news. When is it ever? Oh, rather necessary news. Because of your new, uh, new duties and the amount of time you spend within Odessa, I'm afraid I'll have to... Uh, Remove the title of uh, Seneschal from your person. More than fair. And your decision, of course. It had been upsetting the canines of this town for quite a while. And you should listen to your subject. I only hope that you will find a as good or even better, Seneshu. I can come with recommendations. Yes, although I have, uh, I do have a uh, an individual in mind. I'm more than happy to take suggestions. Hmm. Well. As I flatter myself with having changed your minds at certain points, I cannot say that I would in any way question your judgment in such matters. You have a very good eye for such things. She smiles. She's obviously referring to him having chosen her two times, so she's smiling at him. Out of me. He smacks. What? I wish my. Well, I wish the new Senator all the best. If you wish for me to talk with him or her in certain pointers, I assume that they are well versed in such a role, but I can assist them if you wish. Your tutelage would be appreciated, and I believe she would uh, desire it. Uh, the subject I have in, uh, or rather the individual I have in mind, is uh, is my uh, 
child Adonia. Hmm. She has a few decades on her now. Older than I was when I became Baron, however. She might what? still be somewhat uh, out of her depth. Hmm. And I'm, of course, busy tutoring Irene. It would be my pleasure. Uh, should I talk with her yes. to see when she will be available for this? Yes, I can. Uh, I can get you in contact with each other. Very well. Where? It is so sad we have so much to see to. Cannot yes, enjoy this is. evening a bit longer. No. Oh, well. I thank you very much for your time, all, for, uh, my prince. And she smiles. And I thank you very much for your time and devotion always, Madeleine. And he will uh, kiss her on the cheek and just say, you take care of yourself. As I know you will. But you better not get hurt. Until we meet again and we have a perhaps well hopefully more leads on these traitors in the city I will tell you if I find anything but until then have a very good evening and uh, she will curtsy very deeply and she will be on her way. Um, as she curtsies, uh, Ulrich will uh, take both of her hands and say, Madeline, please. We have known each other too long. Hmm. I will, do not uh, do this out of duty. I know when I am, when I should bow. But you need not for me. I know, but I want to. He will uh, hug her instead. She she will actually hold the hug. She she actually uh, appreciates that. Just holds it for a moment. I have missed this. Thank you. Thank you. And after that, um, Madeline will uh, begin to head back towards Itessa. And with that, this scene will come to a close. Thank you very much, players, for playing and watchers for watching. Good night.